Hey guys, welcome back to Benos Esther Malka's channel. Today's game, we are going to review Ninja Squirrels. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I do a game review every single week. Now, for this video, Ninja Squirrels, we're going to do an unboxing as usual. I'm going to show you how to play the game. And if you stay to the very end of the video, I have a bonus tip, a bonus game that I hacked out of Ninja Swirls that will help with focusing and coordination. So let's start with the unboxing. Um, first thing I want to show you, this game in terms of boxes, it's more of a rectangular. It's, I would say, a little bit smaller than average, but it kind of takes up its nice space on the shelf. So if that's something you wanted to know, well, there you have it. Next, we have these Ninja Squirrel cards. You know, they're cute. They have the nice wording on the back, and the other side is, as you guessed, Ninja Squirrels, and more on the Ninja Squirrels in the gameplay. But just something to point out, with these cards, they are more heavy duty, and they are thicker, so in terms of shuffling, sometimes I struggle, sometimes I don't, but it doesn't really bother me much. Next, you have the pieces of the game track. It's a pretty heavy duty plastic. This game is multiple years old for me, and as you can see, no signs of wear or tear. It comes with four of them, and I'll show you how to set it up later, but in terms of quality, so far, excellent in terms of quality and they're pretty and they've lasted till now so pretty durable and as you can see they look gorgeous so good for me um last you have these acorns they are half acorns they're hollowed out in the back just something you should know and they come in purple they come in blue they come in orange and a really nice green and same thing as the track in terms of quality these things have held up for years of play so Let's actually go hang on and play Ninja Squirrels. So I would like to apologize in the unboxing. I left out these cards. These are the Ninja cards. My students really haven't shown an interest in them. That's probably why I forgot about them. But these are just each colored Ninja has a name. So really if I have a student that like I offer it, they don't really choose it. They get to pick a Ninja and pretend they're acting like that Ninja. So. Let's set up this game, and this is again an option for you guys. Didn't really pique my students' interest. As you could see here, we start off with the round track or the battlefield. Now, let's set it up. Setting it up is really simple. If your kids like Lego, it's, you know, they kind of block together. It doesn't matter the order, which is something that I like as well, um, because then my students don't really have to focus on the matching. They just kind of have fun and match it up, which allows some of my younger students to have a more hands-on approach with this game. So that's really big thumbs up. The first time, the first round, you match the acorn with the color. And that's very important for the first round. After that, you'll see it does not matter. So you match the acorns and you're ready to start. Now, depending on the age, I, this game is fantastic because I can actually play with younger children. So depending on the age, if you're playing with like regular students who are, let's say, six, seven, eight or older, then split the deck between all of the players and everybody will take turns flipping cards in the middle of the, of the board, just like so. If I play with younger students who have a very hard time actually playing the game and flipping the cards, then I may play with three or four students and then I will flip for them and then we play the game just like normal. So how do we play the game? Well, as you could see here, we just flip the cards. Now, as we flip the cards, it is very important to look at the squirrel. If the squirrel is different, like as you could see, blue and green, nothing happens and you flip again again purple and blue nothing happens green and orange nothing happens and yeah we just keep flipping until we get one ah, cards stuck together okay until we get one ooh that's the same so if it's the same the first player to grab the acorn of the same color wins that round super fun now here's where it gets a little more interesting in my opinion 
The next one, I blindly take an acorn from the box. Ooh, it's blue. And now we have two blues. So that means two players can actually, ooh, look at that. <laughs> two blue players can actually win, or three in this case, an acorn. And the more players you have, you guys are just flipping super, super fast, and you want to be the first one to grab an acorn. Now, as you could see here, if I'm playing a two-player game and I have three acorns here, well then, guess what? Only two players get to grab the acorn and one remains in play. See, two players grab the acorn and one remains in play, and then I replace it by two random acorns again. So as you can see, super simple to play, and the winner at the end of the game is the player who has the most acorns. Um, if you like this game as much as I have, give this video a thumbs up so I'll know, and don't forget to watch to the end of the video where I share a hack for children to help them with focusing and listening skills. What do I think of Ninja Squirrels? One is like it, two is you decide, and three is stay away from the game. Well, I'll be honest, I'm gonna give this video a one. First of all, this game is pretty durable, so if you're buying it now, you know it's gonna last. Second of all, it's not my student's favorite, which means they don't take it out often, but when we do take it out, I enjoy it as much as them. So it's a game that's not overly played, but it's a game that's not overly forgotten. This is a fun filler game. It is quick and easy to set up. It is great for if you have, let's say, 10 minutes of free time or indoor recess or bad weather day. And like I said, this is just fun to have. If you hang on a bit after this part of the video and stay to the end, you'll also see a bonus hack in which I use this game to work on additional skills. So, in my opinion, Ninja Squirrels is a game that is a lot of fun easy to play, and if you agree with me on these, give this video a thumbs up so I'll know and create more videos like this. As you can see, YouTube turns off commenting, so I started an Instagram account just for you guys. So please, I wanna hear if you like Ninja Squirrels or if there's any other game or skill that you wanna see turned into a game because we are here to learn from each other. So. Check out below, I left a ton of links for you, free content, more videos, you name it, it's down there. So check out those links and of course a link to Ninja Squirrels because this is a game I think you guys would like it. Let's head over to the bonus video. Using Ninja Squirrels for my bonus hack, some of my students do not focus, you know, whether they're a child and it's age appropriate or whether they're older and they were just never really taught the skill so i like to make it fun so what i would do is is really simple level one is just flipping the cards and then i would give them an instruction touch blue and purple now they have to listen i said blue first then purple then the next time i may say touch a green and purple so I touch green and purple then i'd say ooh, put one finger on green so again really simple I follow the cards and I use the cards as a prompt for myself and a visual for the students. Then, once they could do one step direction, then I would do, ooh, can you do three jumping jacks, touch orange and green? So we do three jumping jacks, touch orange and green. And again, same as before. As they start answering or pointing to the cards, then I may do something simple. Okay, do, let's say, run to the door, come back, touch purple, touch your toe, touch green. And my students will run to the door, touch purple, touch their toe, and touch green. Again, I use this to help them follow directions. Now, you may say, why following directions? Not so difficult, but let me tell you what, in the workforce, or when you're doing something important like cooking or chemistry, following directions is super important. And you know what? What better way to expand on this skill than with ninja squirrels if you like this little hack give this video a thumbs up if you have any other questions well then like i said before head over to me on instagram and i will be sure to answer your questions thank you guys so much for stopping by